This video will demonstrate how to do a podcast interview with ReNinJam. It's the NinJam plugin on Reaper. So instead of using Skype, we're going to use ReNinJam in voice chat mode, as you see here. In normal NinJam, that's where the musicians get together and jam together. But we're going to use this for a podcast interview in voice chat mode. We already have three clients calling into my server that I set up. And uh, we have Steve. Pixar went on to create the world's first computer animated feature film, Toy Story, and is now the most successful animation studio in the world. And we've got uh, Linus. To my, to my hard disks, right? Which, but the fact that I auto dialed my Linux partition was actually what was the second thing. That and we've got Bill about the millions of children who are dying every year in poor countries from diseases that we had long ago made harmless in this country. Measles, malaria, pneumonia, hepatitis B, yellow fever. One disease that I had never heard of, rotavirus, was killing half a million children each year. None of them in the United States. So we've got uh three clients coming into the server that I set up on three different computers and uh, simulating a, a voice contact we have Steve, Linus, and Bill uh, on a continuous loopback sending audio to the, their input of their read uh, jam. So let me uh, show you how we get the Reaper set up so we can send audio to all these three clients and since they're connected to the server here they can hear each other just fine and they can adjust each other's audio just like I did. I read a quote of our giving. So whoever is listening, uh, Steve, Linus, and Bill, uh, they could adjust the other two or three people here to their satisfaction and get a good mix. So let's go to Reaper now. How do I get audio from my computer to the input of Reen and Jam? So I have several tracks. We've got a test tone. Helps to set up. I've got the USB microphone here. We have a line input. I don't have anything connected to it, but I just put this in here for an example. This is coming from a, a Behringer UCA222. And we just added it, and I'll show you how we do that. Then we also have desktop audio coming from a virtual audio card, which I'll show in a second. Then we have a separate track, uh, track and I called it re Ninjam. And I'm not using an input, but I am recording the output in stereo. So if you wanted to record the podcast, which you usually do, uh, Reaper can do that for you. And I've condensed it to where it will only record this track here. The other tracks are disabled. Now I'm sending, instead of listening to each audio on its own track, I sent all these tracks to ReNinJam. So in the routing button, take it off the master, and you add a new send, and I've called that track ReNinJam. And I did that for all the audio sources, including my microphone. So here's send to track 5, ReNinJam. Same thing for the line input. Re Ninjam, there you go. Desktop audio. Again, we're sending it to Re Ninjam. Then I will monitor that track for for the audio. You don't have to put the uh, input here since we're sending it to it. It'll automatically come out here in the output. And in the input, as you see my microphone, everything's coming in here as well as if I had it the other sources like from the the test tone. So all the audio that I want going to this server and to all the other three par parties in the podcast, the simulated podcast here, that works fine. I'm going to show you my uh, settings here for the audio. Reaper has one of the best exclusive modes that I've tested.
and I have it at absolutely the fastest I can do and that's 160 frames at 48k now to bring in my microphone my line input and the desktop audio we're going to use voice meter so in the first hardware input I have the USB microphone I have a line in jack here I don't have anything connected to it. I just wanted to show this as an example so you had a tape deck or something you wanted to add audio as an audio source to the podcast you could use it here and of course we'd like to play desktop audio and I have something as an example here it's it it's just a really wonderful place that like wraps you up and you you have all these different emotions and and it, it just really helps push you along and, and this conjures up you triggered something in my memory really that um I lived in Southampton and I used to always want to be in a in a good band but so there we have some desktop audio if you wanted to share that with the guests the callers and so that's coming in just fine and voice meter I'm using the reroute ASIO driver which is part of Reaper's uh, feature set so when you install it you have to make sure you click that option in the extra software additional software you have to open it up scroll down and uh, connect make sure you put a check mark in the uh, reroute ASIO driver so we have a direct correlation between this input this input and this virtual input to reroute ASIO driver 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7 and 8. 3 and 4 for the mic, 5 and 6 for the line in, 7 and 8 for the virtual audio card, which is my desktop audio playback device default. So we're using the VB Audio Voice Meter VAO as the default device that will come in here. Some bands that I joined were in different parts of the country. There wasn't a music industry in Southampton. And it will go out, reroute ASIO driver, 7 and 8. So I've added that track in Reaper. Right here, desktop audio. Reroute 7 and 8. So the audio comes in here. I'm monitoring it. But I'm not listening to it here I send it to track 5 and I listen to it from track 5 that keeps you from doubling the audio so again we have test tone got a USB mic we got a line input and desktop audio four audio sources that all go to the input of re ninjam and the output of re ninjam comes out track 5 to my sound card and I can also record it so let's do a little bit of an example here and let's get this set up for a second what's r really nice about the way this voice, voice chat works on re ninjam is it's full full duplex so everybody can talk at the same time and nobody squashes the other person's audio so it allows you to break in thank you so we have all three people, all three guest callers, talking at the same time, including me. Now let's see if we, we can record it for a second or two. So just the one track is being recorded along with all three guests. Okay, so we save it. Think about how. In this age of accelerating technology, edit it later. So let's turn it down and let's listen to it. The first story, imagine, just for the sake of this. Of course, not everybody's going to be talking at the same time, but it's nice. Almost every discussion, someone's going to talk over the other person to make a comment. And it's nice that we can pick that up without it being squashed like Skype does. Do you know more about so the just the one track is being right recorded along with all three guests. And, uh, in your years here. Yeah, and so that worked. So it's nice that it Reaper does it all for you. So again, to review, we're using Voice Meter to bring in three audio sources, two hardware and one virtual, using the reroute ASIO driver. I'm using the fastest settings I can on Voice Meter as well. We're doing the uh, 160 buffer frames at 48K. We have exclusive mode, yes, and engine mode, Swift, is faster than normal. So we get lower latency that way. It has to be in composite mode, 
then it will split up these tracks so again the first track will be three and four to reroute this the second track will be five and six reroute ASIO driver here and this will be seven and eight reroute ASIO driver tracks now reroute ASIO one and two would be the combination of all of these together but we don't want that since we want these separated so we come over here the test tone is something I have coming into my laptop mic jack and that's just so I can send a tone just to test everything so the first track from voice meter is right here 3 4 the next for the line input from the Behringer is 5 6 and again because we're using the virtual audio card the voice meter VAO that's coming from voice meter on reroute 7 and 8 so it's really nice the way voice meter and Reaper work together to bring in that much audio possibility. And I, since I only needed one virtual audio card, we're using the uh, little brother to the Voice Meter Pro, and this works very well. And I think that's just about it. It's uh, another option to uh, using Skype, and all you have to do is set up a Ninjam server. Ninjam uses uh, Og Vorbis compression, so it doesn't take up a lot of bandwidth, so you should be able to handle multiple clients with no problem if you have a couple megs up, upload. And if, you know, a couple megs down, that should probably uh, be more than adequate. And I think that's just about all I wanted to show you, so... Thank you for watching. Try this out. I think you'll like it.